All right. Welcome back to the strongest exorcist reincarnated in another world. Anime review, episode number seven. Here reviewing the 13th and final episode. Of what, what seems to be the third, se the first season of the series. I don't know if it's going to be a season two or not. I'll talk about that soon. So we pick a left of last time where we have the Empire soldiers arresting Amaru for allegedly killing the the emissary from the demons. And it turns out this is the bogus charge. Well, well, not entirely per se. Now, they, he, of course, a lot of takeaway, of course, we have Sika talking to the principal about the situation. He's like, oh yeah, my, my political connections basically will handle it. He's like, okay. He goes off. Tells Maple Yandru, like, don't worry. It's handled. And then he proceeds to go break right himself. By summoning his dragon, which he last used uh, a few episodes ago. It's probably the first time he's written the dragon since episode one. So he flies a dragon to the capital. And lands right in the middle. Uh, first, he basically, like, do you really think I... Of course, he tests, like, his, his, well, his loyalty to him. By proving he's definitely his master. Just goes in. Blasts his way through soldiers. Even kills a lot of them. And then he manages... Of course, we see Amaru, which he's like in a cell. And it's like, oh, he's like, give her... Like, like oh, someone's there. And someone gives her a blanket. And he basically breaks out the cell. And I think with everybody. And tells her that the reason why you're here... Is because you're the hero. Yep. And it's kind of a very similar situation what happened in the pilot episode, where she is being manipulated, being killed by people who are weaker than her. All because there are some people who are jealous of her power. The fact that they have armies now, why would need a hero? Oh, and I forgot to mention in my last video, the demon show up in the, in the previous episode, they thought he was Demon King. In actuality, he isn't. Nope. So, he gets right, and of course, then we see Clyde. Just saw him just two episodes ago. It's like, we're going to fight? Nope, and all of a sudden, Prince Fiona shows up. Yes, and it reveals that, yeah, thanks to that they chat for a while about the whole hero stuff, and... And of course, basically, he was like, oh yeah, I'm going to let you go. Because we're friends. Well, like, trust her. And then, oh yeah. And then he proceeds to make up what he did by bringing back everybody he just murdered. Yes. Everybody just, like, fried, sliced. Everybody's all brought back to life. He's like, really? I was going to tell everybody that the demon did this. And of course, they give him the carriage with money and, of course, Amaru's swords in there, too. And then, of course, Seika asks Amaru, like, before, like, like they're going to go to this, this town, like, this new territory. And he asks Amaru, do you know how to drive a carriage? Because he has no idea how to drive a carriage. So she drives, eventually he drives it too. And this will go to this new journey, and they arrive at the town. And not only have to get there, but before this, Fiona writes a letter to Maple and Yandru, which they go to the city anyways. Like, oh yeah, they're basically expelled because of this whole nonsense. And they arrive in town, and they get reunited with them, and that's kind of the final episode. Yeah, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And one thing that was unexpected when I reviewed the series, I did not expect to see a, a view count as high as episodes 3 and 4 have gotten. I mean, I just saw the view count for episode 3. It's up to 150 now. What? Yeah, and episode four, 142. Like, yeah, but 150. I have very rarely got any views up over 100 over since I've been doing... Uh, I've been doing views now for 10 years. I have never got a view count that high. Like, the highest I might get is 50 or 60, but not a freaking over 100. That's, that is not that has not happened in years. That's not happening. Oh my god, this has not happened since like 2017. Yeah, can you believe it's been seven years since I've actually had a video? I've actually had more than a hundred. I've actually had high at about a hundred views, much less over a hundred. Yeah, 
But I have thoroughly enjoyed viewing this series, start to finish. Now, my final thoughts on this first season, because I think this is going to be the first season of the show, because there's plenty of story you can tell with this. Now, in the case of what they have in light novels, I'm guessing, based upon what I saw here, I'd say... Like, the first book is probably the first four episodes. Second book is probably books, probably episodes two, uh, five through seven. I'd say three is eight and nine. I'd say four is probably 11, 12, and maybe 13. Um, I think here. Actually, wait. Um, three is like eight and nine. I think four must be 10. Through 10 and 11. And I'm guessing this is an addition. Because this happens like right immediately afterwards. So I'm assuming book 4. Takes up the last 4 episodes of the season. That's presumed anyways. Out of 6 books. Yes. Now I cannot confirm that at all. Because I have not read the light novels. I have only read the manga. Though I did find a source that finally allowed me to read the light novels. Presumably anyways. They say there's 8. But the red other side says 6. I don't know. But... This is definitely a series I thoroughly enjoyed. And was this a series I was going to get into like as soon as I heard about? It? Yes, I have been thinking about this one for quite some time. Uh, and now, basically, that, well, I'm done. Yes. Now, there is no anime coming. It's a moon-based anime. No, it's not Sailor Moon. <laughs> as much, basically, that people are thinking, oh, it's a Sailor Moon? Like, not really. Yeah, there's also a hentai series, also named Moon as well. It's not that one either, because that one is something else altogether. Okay, um, I'll be with now. It is Tatsumachi Moonlight Fantasy, a series that is currently on Crunchyroll. Yep, that is going to be next. Now, would I get a chance to do it tonight? Like, episodes? Maybe, because next video is going to be case closed. But... Now, I am going to be discussing the series, like, a little, I'll probably mention this to Lucy Christian when I see her in just a couple weeks. Yeah, I'll be seeing her two weeks from Friday. Excuse me, yes, because, well, I'm hoping to get a chance to autograph my camp for the third time. She's a great person to talk to, and she's, if you think about it for this whole series, she's probably, out of the four main characters, she's probably the biggest name out of all of them. And her playing, or her playing a fiery redhead the way she did in this series, it's not surprising. And I think she did a great job. That's probably the first one I've seen. Well, looks like she has canines. Yes. She has this thing, well, the way animation is, like, shows off her teeth like she's got canines because she's a ferocious warrior. Now, this is probably the first character I've seen that she's done where it's like this, but to have something out of her mouth... I'd say, presumably, the last character I can think of she did this was that vampire she played in Farming Life in Another World. Yes, yeah, so those vampires actually walk in something like eat normal food. But the thing is, the Japanese do not understand vampires very much. Like, they understand the whole drinking blood thing. But according to American and European uh, fiction when it comes to vampires, they do not like sunlight. They like drinking blood. Half the time they remember that their weekend's religious artifacts. Half the time they don't work against them. Depends on who makes the movie. But Japanese, nope. They're just, they drink blood. They can eat normal food. They can walk in sunlight, no problem. Without getting burned. Yeah, it's quite weird. It's like some series are consistent with it, some are not. I'd say probably the most notorious series they consistent with vampire mythology is Helsing. Yep. But yeah, that's particularly a particular view. Um, next up is Case Ghost. Okay, next video. Bye.